morning kittens it is saturday march 9th and i'm i'm excited that i was able to sleep past five o'clock this morning um so one of the beautiful things about this grand opening is that we only work monday through friday and we're off on the weekends and if you know anything about retail you know that weekends are golden so i am truly enjoying <laughs> having the weekend off so this may be the only time that i can truly say that i look forward to the weekend because once we open <laughs> i know that it is going to be a luxury to be off on the weekend so i enjoy sleeping past 5 a.m this morning another thing that i have missed um is being able to enjoy breakfast because i'm not an early eater i can't eat i can't eat when i wake up in the morning i just can't do it and i don't i don't know how people can do it but i've missed having breakfast break fast <laughs> so i am getting ready to enjoy some oatmeal and i actually I am trying these protein oats for the first time. I do hope that I enjoy them. I'm going to juice them up myself, but I'm excited to have these. And there's nothing in here but oats. So I'm going to make it snazzy. And I love these. Has anyone ever tried Applegate Farms um, food? These are chicken maple sausages. They are so delicious. They are so delicious. So I'm getting ready to make my coffee, fix me something to eat because it is now a little bit after 10. Um, I've been up since about eight. So I'm getting ready to have breakfast. Oh, I want to share with you guys that our store manager surprised us when we were leaving for the day yesterday with some thank you gifts, which I thought was really sweet. You know, everybody knows I love coffee, so he got me a Starbucks gift card. Um, what is this? Lamarca La 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 Prosecco, a little cute bottle of... Is this one? Yeah. Cute, which I thought was so cute. And the name of our store is called Kennesaw Kingdom. So these are the shirts that he got us. Let me put it down a little bit. <laughs> I thought this was so cute. I definitely thought that this was a very thoughtful gesture. So as of right now, Jeremy, you are one of my favorite managers. And no, not because you got me a gift card from Starbucks. <laughs> All right. So here is my breakfast. I'm getting ready to enjoy this oatmeal and of course my coffee. <laughs> that was <laughs> absolutely delicious that oatmeal was so good i am definitely not going to buy those oatmeal packs again with all of that processed um flavor and carbs in there so i'm definitely going to keep that oatmeal um in my cupboards so today i am going to run my errands I have to go and exchange my coach tote. I need to go to the store and get food for lunch for the rest of the week. And I'm going to drag my husband along with me. And I say drag because he does not like to do these things with me, but it's the only time we kind of have to spend together because when I'm at work, he's home, sleep. And when I'm home, he's at work. And this is also his weekend to work. So running errands is the only time we get to spend together. And it's all for the greater purpose. So 
we are okay with the small sacrifices that we have been making. So um, today will be interesting. It's cloudy. I hope we can get out before the rain. Um, so yeah. So I am out and on my way and Mr. is with me. He not happy as always. Hey, you trying to get my, my channel a strike? Yes. That's my music though. <laughs> but I don't want to get a strike, baby. Turn it off. <laughs> oh, sorry. My husband trying to get me a strike on my channel, y'all. He know I love house music. <laughs> so we are on our way out and we already fussing. We're not fussing, but I don't like to get on expressway. Those who know me know me, but this place um, will get there quicker if we get on expressway. So I've given my husband permission. See, look at he trying to he trying to see see to this is why I don't like like to get on the expressway. You don't like to get on the expressway because you're skittish. It ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm not skittish. I just have anxiety. <laughs> and see, look, I'm gonna show y'all exactly why I don't like to get on the expressway. Look at what I'm looking at right now. This As we pull out our complex, you, you guys see what I'm looking at? That's the interstate that I am looking at right now, and there has been an accident right here. Right here. This at is exactly over, why I don't like to get on the expressway. At the overpass. These folks in Atlanta I, do not know how to drive. Everybody is in a rush. Everybody's everybody is always in a rush. From Atlanta, I to despise 285. I despise 85. I despise 75, 20, you name it. All of the numbers. I do not like getting on the expressway. But, but you'll take a three hour street ride through every lane. And he is over exaggerating. He is over exaggerating. Exactly why I do not like getting on the expressway because y'all are crazy. Yes, y'all crazy. I will take my time. I am that one that will leave out whatever. He's laughing at me because him to him, being on time is late. I will leave out in time enough where I can sh sashay my way to work. As long as I have my coffee and a good audiobook on, I am fine. I will let you have it. You can have these streets. I don't want it, okay? But back to what I was saying. We are on our way. I'm going to go and exchange my tote bag. Um, and the nearest coach outlet is a, a little bit away from us. So, 20 miles. Is it really 20 miles? Yes. It's but I've given him min 39 minutes by the highway. I've given him permission, though, to get on the expressway. I've given him permission. I'm not happy. So, I'm getting ready to um, turn y'all off because my nerves are getting ready to. Be bad. Be bad. <laughs> I lied, y'all. I can't do it. I'm making my husband get off the expressway. He's not happy, but because he loves me, he's going to get off the expressway. It is exactly 2.08, and there's just too much traffic out here. We're already sitting, and we haven't even been on the expressway three minutes now. I can't do it. I just can't do it. I honestly think that I probably need some type of intervention. I may need to go to therapy and actually I'm open to it. And I just asked my husband, would he go with me for moral support? <laughs> but I, I can't, I can't put my finger on when did my anxiety shoot through the roof with being on the expressway. I haven't been in an accident myself. I've witnessed them. I don't know if it's because of this weird obsession I have with watching things like that on YouTube because I do, I, I watch a lot of YouTube shows that um, talk about bad driving and people getting into accidents. And I don't know, but that's just recently. I don't know where my anxiety with being on expressway i don't know where it comes from um and it's something that i'm willing to deal with because i can kind of put my finger on some things when when i'm a passenger that's when my anxiety levels are through the roof 
but I can drive on the expressway. But it's at certain times. If if I if I hop on the expressway and it's rush it's rush hour, I can't do it. I'll get off. But if traffic is kind of light, I can do it. I can drive myself on the expressway. I just when when I don't have control is when I start to freak out. But you didn't and Chicago, I really didn't drive. I really did not drive on the expressway in Chicago, babe. You know, I, every place that I had to go to, I really did not have to get on the expressway. Did you or did you not have to get on Lakeshore Drive at one point in time? Lakeshore Drive is different. Lakeshore Drive is still considered a highway. Whether but you know it or not, it's considered Lake, a highway. But I, I get it, but it's different. What? How? I don't Say, I don't I don't know. I not, honestly don't know. Just like I can drive, we have this what is it? Is it what is four hundred? What is four hundred considered? the highway it's like a, it's a, so what's the difference between the interstate and the highway is it that the interstate connects you from state to state yes. and the highway is is kind of local yes okay so i'm going to assume that um highway 400 here in georgia is it a high it's a highway right yeah it's a highway okay so or a route something i think it's i think it's route 400 that's what they call it they don't have that many lanes. Uh, tops, maybe three, 400 tops may have three lanes. Okay, at some point it does it does go into four lanes. But I can manage 400. I can manage driving myself on 400. But 285, 85, 75, 20, like I said, all of those numbers, I cannot do. I cannot do it. It's like when I'm listening to the news every morning, there's always an accident. There is always an accident. I cannot tell you one time that I have turned on the news in the morning and there has not been an accident. Y'all crazy here in Georgia. No, they in a hurry here in Georgia. They, they every, go nowhere. Yes, they are. You know, the drivers here are definitely <laughs> from cut from a different cloth. Nobody yeah, uses speed. their turn signals. Um, Man, people, they speed signal? to, what? to just get one car, to get one car in front of you to get, to rush to the red light. I don't understand it. I do not understand it. And I refuse. I refuse to y'all. So, um, we're getting off and we are taking the street. So we are, we're getting ready to spend some quality time together. <laughs> you okay with this quality time? Uh-huh. As soon as I can figure out how to do this real quick. Well, if you need to pull over, babe, let's pull over and figure it out. Let's recenter ourselves. But um uh I'll pick up with you guys in a bit. We have made it to the outlet mall. Here to pick up my new coach bag i got mr got mr man carrying the goods <laughs> i absolutely love this center this is our second time here and it is an outlet mall all of my favorite brands are here and i just love this it's an outside mall Easily walkable. You hungry? You always hungry. I want to say, um, I think Coach is on. I think Coach is down here. I love this place. Can we go in, Steve Madden? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go take care of the purse first. <laughs> I love Mr. Madden. He is Mr. Duke. And then they advertise on the air after they boy, they make sure they get it in. We'll take it in. They take all money. All money is good money. Any kind of money you give and they take it. <laughs> Athleta. Yeah. <laughs> there is my store.
Yes. You ain't got to worry about nothing. My husband just said that I am acting like a seven-year-old. Yes, you fidgeting around. You can't keep still. I see so many things I want. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's for you said that's for men. If you ever in your life think about no, what do you think I'm gonna do? With, what what do you think I would do with that? Okay, my question is again, what? Yes. No, not for a man. No. A woman, yes. A man, no. That's what a man has. That's, that's what that's for. Essentials and stuff. That's what that's for. Not this. Yes. Yeah, for a woman, yes. I'm in Mr. Steve Madden. No. Oh no, not me. I thought you were talking about you. Those are nice. But I'm sure they don't have you. His shoes run small. Y'all know I love a good sparkle. Mmm. I love a good sparkle. I have secured the bag, literally. And I did not subject my husband to a full shopping day. We only went in one other store, Mr. Steve Madden, but um, I know he's happy about that. Right, babe? Yes. <laughs> Two things that we have not been able to find since we've been in Georgia is really good Chinese food and an authentic <laughs> gyro. So while we were coming back from the mall, we spotted this place. He and I both looked at each other and we made a U-turn. So we are getting ready to try this place out. It is in Woodstock. All right, so we do see that it is off the bar back there. So we're excited about that. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, it looks good. Let me show you guys. All right, so let's hope it tastes as good as it looks. So hubby and I enjoyed it. Plates were cleared. What do you think? Will we come back? Mm -hmm. <laughs> if we're um, in the area, though. If yeah, we're in the area, yeah. Yeah. We're in Woodstock, and 
Um, this is a, a nice know. a nice jump for us, but if we were out in this area, we would definitely come back. This um, definitely reminded us of Nick's Gyros in Chicago. So, Hubby and I both give it a thumbs up. Yeah, we enjoyed it. Look what he gave us to try. Oh my, I'm so excited. So you go ahead and, and these are hot because I saw him making them. Let me see the inside. Is it a real, it's a donut. Oh my goodness. Wait, what does it have on the inside? Is it cream cheese or something? No? Okay. Oh, so do you like it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, now my husband says he likes sweets. You know it's sweet. It's good because he doesn't eat sweets. All right. So I'm going to try. I'm going to try one now. I wonder what's the glaze he put over it. It's just a sweet glaze. Yeah. Is it really hot? Mmm. <laughs> mmm. It's not too sweet. I taste something different though. What is it? Hmm. I know it's cinnamon. I was expecting it to taste really sweet, but it's not. Mm. It's a cinnamon. Mm -hmm. There's something else. Mm -hmm. It's really good. It has a little bit of crunch on the outside but the inside is really soft it's really good <laughs> really really good so open it up baby this is what I got look at this turn around oh my goodness oh my goodness yum right, so we really enjoyed that really enjoyed that we'll definitely um, if we are out this way we'll definitely come back that definitely reminded us reminded us of home and like I said I shared with the owner you know how we were truly impressed with it and he gave us some of those little Donuts. donut bites or whatever they were um, whatever they were they not they too were Greek sweet donuts. That's what Greek donuts them. oh okay yeah. Greek donuts they were not too sweet tasted a hint of cinnamon really really good so we really enjoyed that and once again, this is, what is it? Yiro, it's called Yiro Village. Yiro Village. <laughs> that's, and that's actually how you pronounce gyro. It's not pronounced gyro. No, it is pronounced yidos. So it is called Yiro Village. Uh, oops, Yiro, Yiro Village. I'll get it together. <laughs> we enjoyed it. <laughs> Alright, I am picking up my lunch for the week. Look at this arrangement. Whoever did this did a really good job. It's so pretty. Look at how beautiful. Look, look, look at how beautiful. Oh my goodness, these are so gorgeous. I am picking up some of my favorite apples, which are Honeycrisp. My good, good friend, Fred, hey boy, um, turned me on to these years ago and I have not looked back. I absolutely love them. I also need to pick up a couple of bananas. I have learned from experience to not buy a full bunch of bananas because I'm the only one that eats them and they typically go bad before I can finish them so I don't get many and I typically only enjoy these in my oatmeal so I think I'm only going to grab two this time these look really good 
this is one of my favorite coffees and it is on sale but I already grabbed a couple on the last sale but if you guys are not drinking Cafe Bustelo then what are you drinking? This is something that I can have at work just in case I need it. There's a cup, a bowl, and a little plate. Should I get it? I can definitely use it. There will always be an opportunity for me to need a cup at work and if I need a Wait, is this worth it? Is it worth it, Dorcia? For $6.99? Hmm. Hmm. Is it worth it? I think it is. Yep. <laughs> it's coming with me. <laughs> I am trying to get back to eating the the right way. I have definitely slacked off a little bit. And I have gained um, about 10 pounds, y'all. Um, so I'm trying to make sure that my, I always want to have my lunch at work with me. I don't want to eat out and I want to make sure that what I'm eating is satiating and not loaded with calories. Um, Boris Head have a Cajun flavored turkey. So I'm going to get some of that to have enjoy with cheese. Yeah, just trying to keep it a little bit healthy to get this 10 pounds off. So yeah, I have... Um, wow, my background is really blurry, guys. I'm sorry about that. I'll fix it on the next one, but I've gained about 10 pounds and I can see it in my face. So it's time to get back right. There have been some hiccups along the way and, you know, when you're dealing with life, a lot of things go to the wayside. And for me, that was eating right. Um, being at home was a blessing and a curse. Um, I wasn't very active and I can see it. So it's time to get back on the right path. But I absolutely love um, Boar's Head Cajun flavored turkey um, deli meat. So I'm grabbing some of that. If you guys have made it this far, thank you so much for sticking around. I appreciate it. I'm trying to get better with vlogging. Um, it's a lot of work. So thank you guys so much for sticking around. If if you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe. Become a part of the litter if you are not already. I'd love to have you. And if you'd like to, you can follow me on my other platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. I got her, y'all. I got her. <laughs> I went to go and exchange today. So this is the color that I wanted. Oh, look at her. Look at her. Oh, this is gorgeous. This color is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, this is absolutely Oh, this is perfect. This is so perfect. Now I am waiting on my other items to come. I'm so excited. I am so excited. Again, my birthday gift from me to me. <laughs> All right, y'all. So this is the end of my vlog. I am getting ready to go. Oh, I stopped by the beauty supply. And I got a packet of quick blue. I need to re-bleach my hair this weekend. Uh, I, I tell you, prepping for the week, I don't know why I wasn't doing it. I don't know why I did not do it before. So I literally prep for the entire week. I put my outfits together for the entire week. And when I tell you that takes so much time off of my mornings. So I am getting ready to again prep for the week make sure that I have all of my lunch and my snack. And I'm going to rest tomorrow. I'm going to take my Sunday and I'm going to rest. So again, thank you guys so much. I appreciate all of you. <laughs> this is Miss Dorcia and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.